I've been sick the last couple of days and I'm still a little under the weather. Technically, I'm breaking an agreement with work because when I'm feeling well enough, I sh I'm supposed to log in and do some files, but I'll do that tomorrow. They just need to be done before Monday. I'll get them done tomorrow morning. No problem. Tonight, we need to redeem ourselves for the horrid, horrid sin of not forgetting, of not remembering to save. Oh, I'm going to get it up. Get it up. That's horrible. Why am I talking like that? No, I mean the VTube avatar thing. I'm going to pull it up. Yes, install it anyway, Microsoft. Even though we're not doing any installation, we're just opening the file, and you seem to think that it's installation. <laughs> Violence allow, sexual allow, uh, no thank you actually, how do I get rid of that? should figure out how to change the licensure on my own model. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, ha. So last time, we made a great deal of progress. We went to Bosque, we found the, um, we found the warship, and we failed to stop it from doing Armageddon. We learned how to destroy it. We learned where to get the things we need to get the tools that we need to destroy it were. We went, we got the ice sled, we went to the cave, we got fucked hard by a turtle, but we won, we were like, yeah, we're great. Then there was this, like, total fucking clown who should have been a walk in the park, but because we got fucked hard by the turtle, he just bopped us and bopped us and bopped us, and we learned we last saved at Bosque at the start of the session. So we now get to completely redo the last session. Uh, and it's not going to be as good. Ah, Bogdan, I hate you. I will not be... Forked anymore. Hey, 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 we're the Wand Rose. Yeah. Why are you not moving? Okay. I had to talk to him about the warship, too. Let me know if things are too loud. Or if there's not enough music. Because these old games have some good music. Ba -ba -ba.
<sighs> Cassie doesn't even have her full hit points anymore. She made it to triple digits. How sad. I'm probably not going to be super talkative because, as I mentioned, I've been sick for a couple days. My throat is shot. Hey, there's the long sword that Cassie can dual wield, we learned. So let's do that. Get her some XP and evasion. Someone hit. Thank you, Lori. Good shot with your bow. And we have an antidote. This particular fight is the Let's have everyone punch Cassie. And by everyone, I mean Cassie and Barbie. Well, main cast's cure. Damn it, you're supposed to wait until after Cassie gets punched in the face. The idea being, you know, these Grand Goblins are all going to die in the fire. We can punch Cassie in the face a few times, up the chances she gets more hit points. God, don't hit yourself, Cassie. Shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that would kill her. Uh, life. Be not dead, Cassie. So it turns out Barbie hits really hard with an axe. Hey! Cassie got some vitality and some hit points out of the deal. <laughs> what doesn't kill you? Uh... Puts you into triple digits. Cassie shows up, we don't mention that I chopped her in half with an axe, okay? We just won't, we won't say anything about that. Oh, speaking of... You just jump on that last zombie without a problem. And 
and continue. See, I'm... I do get distracted during combats because I issue my orders and I'm like, yep, I know how this is going to go. I don't need to wait to see. Like this. Ooh, we got ambushed. Oh no. The soldiers, they're gonna hurt some people. And then they're gonna die because... I'm pretty sure Cassie and Barbie each kill a soldier outright. Oh, they don't anymore. It was before that they did. Well, that means we just have to hold X and have everyone jogpile the last soldier. It's fine. Bye! Bum, bum, ba, da, da. I think when we're back in the Summit Falls cave, we're going to go down and deal with that turtle. So we can get exit. That way... We're prepared. Balloons! Oh no. You are danger. Actually, because they're weak to fire, fire one should kill them, I hope. Wow! Hey, Fia! Fire 1 did not kill them all. You're stuck playing rhythm games? Why are you playing... Why are you stuck playing rhythm games? I'm kind of fixated, too, on catching up to where I was. Like, I'm probably not well enough to be doing- Why did you blow up in Lori's face, you stupid balloon? Okay, I need to- If she's awake... She'll appreciate the... Hey, cat! Ugh, allergies. Ugh. Yeah. Allergies suck. And I was reading, I don't know if it's true or not, but I was reading, and apparently, when they were planting all the trees in the cities, like, in the 20s and 30s, they didn't want homeless people just grabbing fruit. So they made sure to plant male trees instead of female trees. And that's why everyone gets really bad allergies. Allegedly. Because, like, the boy trees are all... throwing their tree cum everywhere. We are really just getting bopped harder than usual, huh? Oh no, it's because the balloon popped in Lori's face, that's why Lori's hurt. Maybe Lori will come to stream. I also have a little allergy. It's making things worse.
There's no reason that these vamps should have still been around. Not at all. Okay. I think it's through here that we get to the warship. Hey, Lori! Uh oh, we got ambushed. Lori, you take care of the balloons. Everyone else, dogpile on the soldier. Lori has gotten smarter through the magic of throwing fireballs. Hey, Cassie. We totally didn't kill you earlier by having Barbie attack you to up your HP and then just killing you. Totally didn't. Yeah. Um, depending on context, my entire chat is cute girls right now. Uh-oh. It's the Dark Knight! Ow. Oh, I really wish that, like, a raid had happened. But oh well. Uh, the, the Dark Knight is not gone from boss. Well, we knew because we did this already, but... The Dark Knight is ready. Borgen's calling us Spoony. And we find that they have a fully operational warship. Oh no. Ah, uh, but we've got the warship pass, so if we ever get to it, we can get on it. And as much as I want to keep bopping Cassie to up her hit points, I don't want to kill her again. I'm liking that everyone but Lori can just kill a balloon outright. Bit of a waste of fire three on one balloon. But hey, it's good practice. Okay. The warship's complete. This is the end. Hilda has returned with her back in control. We may have a chance. The warship's heading towards Puffed. Oh no, the gay pirates. Yes. Nifty. There will be a time that I get to Endwalker on this stream. It will not be for a while, but it will happen eventually. And now we have to walk back to Puffed. And see what carnage happened because the warship went to Puffed. We know 
We already know what happened at Oft. supposed to end be the end of walking? The end was walking. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Well, a long walk back to Poft. And then if we're lucky, the ship is there and we can take the ship back to Palm and then get where we're going, but we don't know. Maybe the ship's been destroyed. less exciting when we're doing something we've already done, because we know exactly what we're waiting for. The moral of the story being, save your game, and don't get fucked by the turtle. by the turtle. Whispers falling silently drift on the wind, but I hear you. So many people died when the warship struck. We will take the ride to Palm. And the gay pirates are all dead. Only Sid is alone, sitting. In. The gay bar, all alone, where once he was surrounded by his pirate friends. We still, we need to get vengeance against the evil empire. And that traitor Bogdan. Why am I even here? I don't need to come into this town. My daughter, she's dead. That's why we need to come here. The pirate's daughter got killed by the attack. <laughs> Hornet's like, fuck, I don't want to do anything with this. Bye.
one good thing though, we're not going to be lost. Like we're not going to go across the world to Kashun trying to figure out what's going on because we know. We had to talk to Sid about the Sunflame. We need to make sure to talk to Hilda about everything too. Or we should remember to save. We don't need to save yet, but we should save before going into the Summit Cave, and we should save again before going into the Ice Cave. Sid does know the airship's the warship's weakness. Everyone's not doing super well. Let the king live. Because the king's still dying from where Bogdan stabbed his ass. Princess Hilda. Father's deteriorated. Is there anything in I forgot to take Bin's stuff off of him again! Sunflame's Cashin's emblem. We need the goddess spell. which belongs to Scott and Gordon. Scott's dead, Gordon's run off. Oh King, do you know about the Goddess Bell? Got a spell, finally. Gordon knows where the goddess spell is, but he fled when Alteo was attacked. That coward. That's where Gordon went. Gordon ran away. Grrr. That horrible Gordon. Heard about, you've heard Yosef talk about it sometimes. And let's go back to Salamando. We can take the pirate ship from Palm to Poft, and then um, we can take Sid's airship from Poft up to Salamando. Save time. the cost of money. And we're now out our healer, so it's in Barbie's hands to do the healing. Let's not do multi-target fire three with Barbie. Yes, we will take a ride to Boft. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. <coughs> ah, the sounds of being sick on stream. Okay, Sid. 
We need to crack out of our reverie. You're taking us to Salamando. You can remember all of your dead gay pirate friends by helping to end the war to end the war. Stay puffed. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Pirate got melted by the warship. It's never going to be seen again. And off we go. Okay, time to talk to Yosef, who I still think is going to die. After all that, after all this, I'm in love with Yosef, but I only get in his way. And then over here, thank you for your help. Yosef's daughter that we saved from slavery. My daughter's safe. I apologize for being so rude. I was worried about her. The goddess bell is hidden up north around the snowy mountain range. But you can't enter the snowfield without my ice sled. I hid it in the Semit cave. Secret chamber on the ground floor. I marked the spot. Wonderful. Let's hit the inn first so that we're full up. And also see if we can't get some tents. If they're too expensive, we won't. Oh, just you wait. You're gonna like Yosef, Elise. You're gonna like Yosef. Even if he hid his sled in the Semite cave. That's magic. There's items. How much is the cottage is five grand? Ugh. Just wait. Maiden's kiss, two thousand five hundred gil for a maiden's kiss. You'll see when we get into a fight. You'll see. Which I can show you now. Equipment, Yosef. Look at his weapons. He's going to punch things hard. Also, he's so bald. Mm, let's not actually do fire, Elise, because turtle. We need the fire for the turtle, because we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go down to the uh, bottom of the summit cave once we've picked up the sled. Get exit, because we should have exit too. Oh, all the back row ran away. That's very convenient. So many bees running away. Queen Bee is all alone. Time to 
bopper. There goes Cassie, dual wielding long swords. As she had requested. Ambushed by vampire thorns? Oh no! Whatever shall we do? There we go, after a long journey, we're back at the Summit Cave. And we're remembering... ...to save. because we don't want to lose all of our progress again. Although, it's not taking as long to catch up because we're not going off on a wild goose chase to Kishon yet. I'm... I'm sorry, I'm... I'm very gassy. I actually took a medication to help with my sickness, and it is making me gassy. And farty. And otherwise a gross goblin. Ooh woo woo. Oh, it didn't work. There we go. I'm not skewering myself with my hair anymore. We've lost our ability to do that. And I just hurt my back trying. <laughs> uh. We don't have any blizzard items for this turtle. This is the Sevet Falls cave. I know which item we were supposed to use against that turtle. We used it way earlier because I'm like, what the heck does this do? It was the um, ice scythe that Min was carrying. Like, the game gave us the item, but we had no idea the turtle was coming, so... How did we? How were we supposed to know? But we know now, and we can use the blizzard item we find in the ice cave for the second turtle. For this first turtle, we're going to have to rely on Barbie to heal us and Lori to burn it. Wow, Cassie and Yosef just irritated by bopping on its shell. That's why we're risking intelligence downs right now, by not casting any spells. Gobbos. Your swords. You have two of them now. Because as we found at the end of last session, you can do a wield. Instead of dual wielding with dead Barbie's axe, you're using two swords this time around. No more big shield to hide behind, but you're going to be fine. I should give the shield to Barbie because no sense in it going to waste.
Mm, you have you have a bow. That lets you fight from the back row. Wiggle wiggle. I'm sorry. Ah. Got myself into an awkward position. Somehow, just sitting here. You're much cuter than Yosef. But you do bop hard with your fists. It is known. Renowned Nazi bopper Alice. I forget where we're going in this particular spot. I think this is where I looked at the map because I'm like, I don't remember where we're going. And then I'm like, oh. There's a secret room we walked right by because we didn't hit X by the wall. Yetis. I'm not even doing damage. This is supposed to be a threat? Yeah. Our act, I, the action key. Well, I don't want to do it generally, like... I want to try to experience this as it was intended to be experienced. Yeah, but I don't think the manuals came with... Why did I have everyone dogpile the same Yeti? I'm an idiot. The manuals don't usually come with maps of all the dungeons. Those were guides which were assembled by third parties. Like... But yeah, no, I mean, it's fine. We're okay. It's going to take a little moment, and we'll have to do a couple more fights. And since we're not spending mana, it's not really that big of a deal. Prioritize the balloons. Joseph and Cassie should be able to kill those balloons before they... Kaboom. Well, I did only sleep for like three hours last night, so it's understandable after a long day that I'd be tired. But we need to redeem ourselves. We need to get back. This is not where we needed to go. More gobbles. Oh, it's an ambush, even. How lovely. We're gonna sit here and wait while they do nothing to us, and then we can attack. If they were wise, they'd just run away.
Sword Sword! Also, while that combat was going on, I checked Discord. Sick! Aww. I hope I didn't give it to you somehow through the internet. Is one of these doors the way out? That's right, this is where they kept the slaves. And the bodies of the ones that didn't survive. Many of whom were children. Probably have Barbie run some heals soon. stormy outside. It was supposed to be a big storm last night and then it didn't happen, so all my friends were upset. Or at least the people who call themselves friends. Yeah, it went south. I think once this turtle's dead and we have exit and we've cast it, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, see if we can't resolve some of this constant farting that is not showing up on the mic, but it's bothering me as I play. We have potions. Let's play it reckless. Strike first, kill the balloons. Never punished. What? We're popping balloons. Yeah, I hate when software does that. 
It's like when Stellaris updated and we lost like everything that made those of us who bought Stellaris at release excited for it. And we got a generic, boring 4X like out the gate. It's like, thanks, Paradox, for taking my money and then taking away all the things that you used to sell me the game. You're like, well, we'll make it better, and then you didn't make it better, you made it boring. Give me back my wormhole drives! Meh. Give me back my enemies with warp drives. Give me back my complicated... strategery. Well, that's nice, at least. So your software didn't just screw you. That's good. Are we ready to go practice fucking a turtle? saved all of her fire and is ready to roast a turtle. Choked the Yeti, and now we're gonna go fuck the turtle. The turtle guarding exit. You have fun with Clip Studio. Ooh, cloud. That's actually really annoying because it means we don't have access to the back row yet. Blech. Red versus blue, who kills their target faster? Yosef wins! It's turtle time. We don't need to cure yet, so everyone will bop the turtle as fire goes down. Hey, Yosef actually hurt the turtle a little.
Okay, Cassie and Yosef keep the turtle distracted. Barbie, keep Cassie and Yosef alive. Yosef, keep doing critical hits against the turtle. And Lori, burn. Yay! We killed the turtle. Let's have Barbie learn exit. Hurts Barbie a whole lot, but... Hey, that's a nice hit point count. Go route. Oh, let's save here. And we will take a quick break. And then we will go to my own personal hell. But remember...
All right, we're back. That wasn't quite as nice as I was hoping it would be, but we made some progress there. As far as like personal health concerns are going. Timer back on, back to Salamando, and then Something. Oh dear. Life Split seems to be unhappy with me. Well. There's a way around that. And that is... Threaten to kill it, then actually kill it, and bring it back. Hey, Will! Thirty-four, twelve. We're seven hours into this game. Oh my. Okay. We would have been further in the game right now if I remembered to save. But this time we have exit, so, you know... Coming ahead. Woof. How are you doing this evening, Will? like fish they start to stink after a couple days <laughs> uh. on Easter I drink I drank too much bourbon because there'd just been a breakup and I was a bit bummed out. Okay, at least we're just going to burn everything. And the annoying thing is I drank too much bourbon, so I had to sit there and watch Star Wars Episode 2. Because people took my keys and were like, you're too drunk to drive. And I'm like, "Not if I'm not too drunk to drive if the alternative is sitting here watching Star Wars Episode 2. Ugh. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I'm a fan of romance, and like, half of episode two 
is a very badly done red flags raised romance. And I get part of it is we are raising red flags for Anakin, but uh, yeah. The only good thing about that is we're watching with my because my little brother hadn't seen Star Wars. He's 12. He's seen no Star Wars at all. He doesn't know that Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. He knows Darth Vader from, like, pictures. He doesn't know Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. He thinks that Anakin is Luke's uncle. <laughs> he thinks that, oh, that Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru... Oh, we don't have 5,000. We're not getting a cottage. Rip. They think that o Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru are Luke's mom and dad, because he's seen a picture for episode 4 and just assumed that that's Luke's parents. <laughs> oh, like, God, episode 2 is so bad. What's the machete order? Is that like one, four, two, three, five, six? One, four, two, five, three, six? Like where you chop it up and move them together? That's probably a better way to do it. Like, the in-order thing, I really feel like you're going to lose a lot with the reveal that Anakin is Vader. But... Not my call. That's how my mom and her totally heterosexual bestie who has been single his entire life. <laughs> Are. It's like... I don't know. My... My mom's best friend is totally a ace but... Because he's like 75, he does not want to hear anything about anything queer, because he's like... I like the gays, but queer people are like, like you. I'm not a queer, and I'm like, sir, you, you are like the most stereotypical, he's like the most stereotypical Aero Ace person you can imagine, just in his 70s. It's so, like... On the one hand, he's been fine. He hasn't, like... He didn't do any of the stupid shit I did before I figured out I was ace. But it's... It's also like, come on. Come on, admit it, and then, like, be an elder to your community. But really, he's just an old guy who wants to run his escape rooms. Uh, I'll f f heck, I'll do an advert for him. If you're ev if anyone watching this is ever in Omaha, Nebraska, and wants to do an escape room, check out es Industrial Escape Rooms in Omaha. Dude who runs that is like my mom's best friend, and he's pretty cool. Um. I can't speak to the quality of the rooms directly, because when I had to move east, he um, was still in the process of setting the place up. So I got to do a lot of his puzzles before they were, like, incorporated into his room concepts. But um, 
I haven't actually seen the completed rooms. And I know that to get things up to speed, he actually like bought a couple pre-made rooms because apparently there's companies that sell pre-made escape rooms. And if you want to know why I haven't gone yet, it's because I'm waiting for my kids to be here this summer. And then we're just going to go as a group and be like, escape rooms! Because my kids like puzzles, and I like puzzles, and it's just going to be fun. And yeah. Old man should do- old man should have success in his escape rooms. There's escape rooms everywhere. I remember when escape rooms were like a new concept and I was like, Oh, those are nifty, I'd love to go to one. But I sincerely doubt that they'll take off outside of like the big cities. And then now, like, almost every town has an escape room. And it's just like, whoa. Um, I did a couple when I worked at um, a job before last, who um, the place I, I, at House of Conundrum downtown, and it was a big zombie escape room. Uh, it was back when I was still in the closet. So like, <laughs> oh. If, if anyone watching this happens to have worked for them, and I describe myself, you'll go, they might go, what? But, like, I remember, uh, like, just, because I was, because, because this was before my transition, right at the peak of my depression, I was nearly 500 pounds, and I was way too big to get into any of the puzzles. So I solved a Rubik's Cube in like a minute and spent the entire rest of the um, day harassing the zombie so that the zombie couldn't bother us. And then everyone now and then someone would be like, Hey, dead name! Any idea about blah? And I'd be like, Yeah, that sounds like nitrogen. Oh, there's a chemistry table! Yay, that solves the clue! Cool, maybe your friend made some of uh, my mom's friend's rooms. Um, I don't remember the names. There's a Sherlock Holmes room, and there's a Sinking Submarine, I think. I'm not 100% on that one. Hey, snowman. I shouldn't be being so conservative with Lori because we're gonna get the um, the ice. I'm just I'm mostly worried about when we hit those big hordes of undead deeper into the dungeon. I feel like I need to reserve Lori's uh, magics. Bum bum bum. As we waddle through my own personal hell. Ambush! Oh no! Don't hold us, zombies! Sure you deserve love, but first you need a shower. Did you see what I did there? Get it? Because they rot, so they smell bad? I'm exceptionally clever. This will take two rounds if we don't drop fire, but I don't think we need to drop fire. Let's see how well splitting up four ways does. I think we could be lucky. Nope. Well, it's fine, it's gonna give everyone a chance to shine. Which means a chance to increase their weapon skills and lose their intelligence.
Um... <sighs> Gosh. After the stream, I'm going to bed and I'm sleeping for three weeks straight. I'm not really. I'm probably gonna wake up after like two hours because I because I took medicine right before stream and it's supposed to kick in around sometime between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. Hey, sword leveled up for Cassie! And we got more money. And there's the door that we get out of. Yay! Wait, paint! This is the zombie horde that we wanted to have fire ready for. That's right, deadhead, you can't do nothing. I'm supposed to be upright right now. Let's fix that. There we go. I also need to get around to, um... Doing the expressions. I haven't configured them yet. I've been sick! That's my excuse. We'll completely ignore that I've spent, like, most of my, my free time this week just reading Worm. It's the shadow! Cassie, you know what to do against your foul nemesis. We took care of that. Icicles. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay, Cassie. You killed the bone human. It's gone. Well, you and Lori working together killed the bone human. Now before we did not go up the stairs, we were like, let's go further. This time we know that the stairs are not the way to go, so we'll go up them. This is one of the things that we wanted to have fire on hand for, because those grenades are scary. In fact, probably it's in our it's in our best interests to like um, not do a bunch of the fire on those groups of undead because they don't actually hit that hard compared to the ninety nine damage that just happened because the grenade went off. Grenade is scary. Now what we do have here, though, we have these potions that we forgot to sell. It's not quite 
as good as using Cure, though. So let's get that Cure up. Throw it at the vampire boss. We haven't faced a vampire boss yet. So vampire is an FF1. Excuse me. Real goblin mode belching on stream. If we face a vampire boss, we'll probably sell the garlic long before we get to it. Like, I don't know what the garlic's for, but we're probably going to sell the garlic. Lori, why'd you miss the snowman? Nice Barbie. Kill the icicle. Yeah. Right now I see that as like 50 gil. We'll just sell the garlic and some housewife will use it for dinner. Who doesn't like gar some garlic in their food? Reminding me that I need to clean my kitchen. These, the, oh, these are grenades. I'm like, the balloons aren't actually that scary, but nope, these aren't balloons, these are grenades. Kill them. Okay, that one blew up in Cassie's face, but that's okay, Cassie can take it. At least we have Ice Wind now, so we're ready for the turtle. Yosef, you can do better with that. See, Lori did better. Cassie did decently, but two swords, yeah. That's right, I was gonna give Barbie the shield. Got to do that. We'll do that as soon as the fight's done. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Barbie has even more HP. There we go. Deadheads are, um, can hit hard, but they aren't hitting too bad. I 
At least the deadheads aren't in the Semit cave. That would have been even more uncomfortably unfortunate. So what have we got around here? Snowmen. Snowmen are a little tanky, but it's okay. Gives us a chance to get stronger. For Lori, without an intelligence down. Good job. Okay, this floor is going to be a bunch of treasure. Battle axe. Ooh. Should we dual wield axes? Yes. We have dual battle axes on our in the hands of our healer. No, they're there to do DPS. Right, right, you hadn't caught up last time, so you weren't in stream, but uh, we would had this big discussion last time about how healers should be dealing damage. An antidote! So useless. Holy grenades. Don't blow up grenades. Especially with Yosef down at 77 and no one knowing how to cast life. I should have healed Yosef. I didn't realize the yield hadn't gone off. Never punished. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Never gonna be punished. Mithril Club. But suddenly monsters. Oh no. Ambushed. Oh no. Uh, no. Uh, the grenades are magic damage. They can hit Lori in the back line. Like they just did. This could be us leaving the dungeon. If anyone dies, we're going back to outside. 
the, the grenades. Cure yourself because you can cast Exit. So you need to not die, no matter what. Okay, blast on Yosef, that's fine. Yosef can take it. Lori got hit points, Yosef got vitality. We now have Cure 2. Oh. Grenades are scary. <laughs> Thank God it's just some snowmen. Not something too terrible. No one uses clubs. That's just money. Those grenades were just doing money. Bleh. Another grenade. And it's in the back row. We just have to hope that it doesn't blow up or that the fire does everything in one go. Because we've seen fire can kill, fire three can kill a grenade in one shot. It can do up to 60. So that's what we hope for. We hope to see 60 here. Yes! to keep pushing. Oh, it's just some undead. Nothing too horrifying. Barbie's paralyzed. That's slightly annoying, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Can't save in the dungeon. Have to leave to do the dungeon. So... A random save is not in order. We saved the last time we were able to save. I appreciate the reminder, but I can't actually save until after the fights. Quick. Are you implying that this is not a 100% legitimate uh, Nintendo Entertainment System with the totally existing... Any English translation, English NES translation of this game? Yeah, we could we could drop a we could drop a save state, but I don't think we need to. I mean, all that we have is Cassie paralyzed until the end of the fight. It's not that big of a deal. I 
I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. We e store. Scoff. I'm being mean. <laughs> yeah. Of course this is an emulator. Who can find a working NES? Um... If it is not a remake, if it is an OG game, it should be on my list. Let me get my orders in here, and we'll take a look. FF4. The After Years, yes. That is on my list. So I will be playing it. Oh, who's getting hurt? Barbie took an explosion to the face. Well, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of remakes. So I just had to double check that it wasn't a remake. I mean, 4 has an official translation too. out of mana on Barbie here. Not row. We're getting close. We're getting close to the beavers. What console is that on? It is on mobile, Wii, or the Sony PSP. So that's getting to the point where I'm not really going to be able to emulate things. I'm going to have to actually start tracking down consoles. I think I can emulate through PS2 fairly well on this machine. But... Uh, those later games. Hmm. Okay. Let's find some beavers. Yeah, PSP has emulation. I just don't know if my machine is strong enough to handle the emulation. Some of those later games come out on more than one platform, so I'm like, which is the platform that's easiest? The tablet does? Okay, then it's probably fine. <sighs> I think Cassie can finish that first icicle off all on her lonesome. I believe in you, Cassie. Don't let me down. Good job! Yosef improved his fists. We have a potion. Those are some good improved fists there. Nice. Barbie has one more heal. Yosef and Cassie have no magics. And we have a couple of potions. So we are actually kind of running the limits of our capabilities. But we should be okay.
Lori can learn ice. Because Lori's our black mage. Ambush, our arrow. That was just a, that was a random encounter, so it's not like it's prepped, but yeah, it is a little annoying. Spear! Ooh, we're getting all the good Mithril weapons down here. The potion. Be risky! Don't blow up! There we go, disarming a grenade with your bare hands. That's what we call Yosef. Uh oh, bone humans. to use potions here. Ooh, we're gonna need to use potions. Please, Yosef, tell me you have a potion equipped. Blind? That's potentially a problem. And a blind Yosef. A paralyzed Barbie, that's not good. Those Skella humans are really scary, Cassie. You're you're right, they're a threat. One eye drop. That's a potential issue. That that is an ability that lasts. So we need to get heal as soon as we can. Uh, 
Ba-dum, ba-dum. A mithril shield! How lovely! Uh-oh. What are you? Dual head. Oh, you missed. That's good. Please kill it in one round, everyone. Laurie, please don't miss. Barbie, please don't miss. Yosef's blind and he hit it. This this is scary, so uh, let's not miss, okay? 66 damage. That's a bit of a ouchy ouch. And a battle axe. That was probably worth it. We're using items for the first time this game. We don't have any ethers and we're low on mud and nah. We're gonna run, I think, actually. Cassie's trapped, Lori fled. Ambushed again. Oh, yeah. We're having really bad luck here. We're going to be using cures for police, I think. We don't need those fires, so we and we need those cures. probably going to want to get Cassie. Next time we're back in Altair, we're going to want to get Cassie here too, so that Cassie can do a little bit of healing. Is this where we're going? More ghouls. Really not liking how everyone's beating up on the person who can cast exit in an emergency. We're not dead yet. We're gonna be fine. There's a lot of targeting going on here. I don't like it. We found it. Excellent. It's hidden behind the right wall. You know what? 
those are beavers, Cassie. And you know what time it is? Assuming we don't die to undead on our way, because there's still undead behind the beaver cave. And icicles. Can I run away from the icicles? I'm gonna run away from the icicles. No, trapped. There's no escape from the ice nickels. We'll give it another round of attempt. But then we'll have to fight. <laughs> okay. Joseph, no! Yay! Glory to the saving of the day. Okay, Yosef's back in the game, except for being blind. There's the turtle. Why do they keep ambushing me? Stop with the ambush. Oi. No ambush. We're, we're done with the ambushing. Okay. I, I attacked the wrong thing with Yosef. Because the ghouls are the ones that can, like, stun and such. I didn't need to deal with the zombie yet. See, that's what we don't want to have happen. That's why we want Yosef to hit the ghoul. Ugh. Well, Yosef hit the, hit the zombie skull thing. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close to the turtle. And with it, Bogdan. Ambushed again. We've been ambushed in, like, every fight here. It's very irritating. Oh my gosh. There we go. Dispatch that ghoul with your blind punches, Yosef. And Lori shoots the zombie. Thank you. 
We get the strike first. Yay! And Yosef misses, and Lori does no damage. Great opening. This is such a great start. Silver armor, which we put on Cassie. And are we ready? This is where we want the safe state. Guardian of the Goddess Spell, another turtle. Oh, Yosef, no die. Forgot who has the scythe. It's not you. It's you. have the goddess spell we do have official names but they aren't like preset so I don't know them so we named them after chat and I think I may even do that for like later games where we even default everything like hi uh, cloud is named after a person okay now we just need to get out easy peasy but let's not cast exit because we know what's waiting for us. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> A will character. Eventually, I mean, you just have to be here when we're naming characters. Because, I mean, I don't have, like, some of the people in my streaming community with channel points and put me in boss and like cues because you need to verify your user account with your cell phone before you can uh, do that and Authy doesn't believe my phone's real so yeah if you're just here I'll be like, yo, anyone want this? And then we'll come up with things. Hmm. There is a danger. That's a good use of our last fire, I think. Taking care of the Skella human. Before it causes more problems. It just caused more problems. It just caused more problems. It just went before the fire and it blinded Barbie. No. <sighs> I 
we're going in, at least we're not going into this fight with half the party dead, but we are going into this fight with half the party wearing cool shades. Yosef might be able to, but Yosef's also blind and is liable to miss, so... But what we will do is we'll get close to Bogdan, and we'll go ahead and take off these potions that are in our items. we can use them, and then we'll re-equip any potions if we have any left over. But I want to go into this fight well-equipped. We're taking your potion off because you're going to drink your potion. We're taking your garlic because garlic. Oh, Laurie was already at full health. That was a waste of a potion. Because Yosef can potentially kill in one hit. We are out of potions. But there you are, Bogdan, you traitor. Time to die. And we have nothing to do but just smack, because we're out of mana, so... Here we go! We have one Cure 1. That's not a pirate. That's a nobleman. That's the nobleman who betrayed the king and stabbed him in the back. The nobleman who oversaw the slaves building the warship. The nobleman who was responsible for the genocide of millions. There Yosef was also probably not blind with like a horrible mischance. Is your name Borgen, Will? Hmm? Are you Borgen? It's not a pirate, it's like a naval commander's outfit, I think. Has Borgen cast Cure 3 yet? I wasn't paying attention. Well, he's dead now. That's the traitor Baldwin dealt with. What, Ro? Can't hold any longer. <gasps> Yosef! No! Yosef! Yosef, no! We're not out of the woods yet. We need to get back to Salamanda. I told you he was going to die. They had all the death flags. Hello, this is my beautiful 
This is my beautiful daughter that you've rescued from slaves, and she's so happy that I am very, very alive. He has that stalker outside his house. We're gonna have to tell them that Yosef's dead. Oh no. Also, his equipment wasn't that much, it was just a bunch of leather crap. It's not s I wish it was sand. I wish it was sand. Imagine being crushed... ...in this nightmare land. Although Yosef was mayor of a nightmare town, so I guess Yosef is probably okay with it. to save when we get to Salamando. There's Salamando, but we have to go around. The game couldn't be nice and put a entrance right there. We're out. We're back to regular old stupid Imperial Guard. Which Lori can't kill with one arrow yet, but one day maybe Lori will just be like, arrow to the face. again. Really. This game hates me tonight. It's just, it's been punishing me. I say never punish, but it's, the game's been punishing me all night for not saving last time and going through again. Even though that's why we're doing this tonight, just to get back to where we were, so we're on schedule. Yeah, we're already pretty much back. Let's see what ice does to these goblins. Not a lot. And it has an annoying noise. Ow. Hmm. 
<sighs> Yawn. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. And... Oh. Now the question... Do we go back in? And the answer... If I'm honest, no, I'm exhausted. Here's the reality. The reality is... that we're going to save right here. And next time, we are going to limp our way in to the place, and we are going to just... We're going to report Yosef's death. Let's see who we can raid here. And it looks like the option is Baron. So, let's go. And remember, save your fucking game. Yeehaw!